eaten up a bunch of time to Garen, but now he's rushing top lane. We could have a 2 Both two. are rushing top lane here. You see Spence Garen and Move actually going to meet in this bush. Yeah, they move is around the back. Hauntzer's still not level 6. He gets a flash away from Vizachachi. That's pretty crucial for him, but now might have to flash himself. He's just trying to stall for Spence. Yeah, so actually, he's going to flash from the other side, trying to get the slow, yeah. but it's not going to be enough. That's going to be the reckless swing coming through. He gets move. the punish Bjergsen. Yeah. Already hurting him quite a bit. Biofrost going for it though. They get the root down. They have the Kikas supposed to line up. He looks like flashing to the side, trying to get through, but it doesn't place correctly. He's gonna go down and Turtle picks up a kill for TSM. Still really amazing. important. The fact that uh Hillisung had to walk into the enemy right there when he's going to place down his vision is delayed because he decided to overextend when his AD carry was back. It's those tiny seconds that really cost him. Oh boy, Gravity Well coming down, but the Ragnarok is there. Bjergsen has the flash. Does he hold it? Yes, he does. He's going to go down. Meanwhile, some scared in the jungle finds Hillisung yet again, but he's going to make it out. Yeah, decided not to blow the flash there because the Kassadin would just R over the wall. Oh, Chase no. it. Oh, oh, not quite where you wanted Veritas to go. A couple of those bullets will connect Hillsong. I'm going to eat the rest of them. So it's Garen not finding that Dragon's Rage. Root lands on the Hillsong. Can they close the distance? Biofrost walking up. Getting laid the Winter's Bite. Looks like they're going to go ahead and heal back. Be, they be. have to worry about the rest of Unicorns of Love. And now the teleport coming through from Vizicotti. Does not have the slicing Maelstrom there. Sven Garen makes it over the wall of the Dragon's Bite. They're going to chase like him down. Cassidy has an inner track. Yeah, Cassidy's coming over from the blue buff. Gets the stun. Might not even need him. There it is. Hands the kill over beautifully to Exile. AP. And now we've got the roam being set up. So the wave is building. Exile is now creeping behind the tower. He can jump this wall. Oh, with yep. a roll, he can tank it too. Wild Turtle. Getting a couple shots on the Veritas. But here comes Exile. Bile Frost to get a huge burst of damage. Gets the exhaust down, though. Teleport That's going to be the knock up from the Glacial Fisher. Hillsong getting rooted. Haunters here throws out the Parallel Convergence. Can it land? He's not going to find anybody who gets the shield. Jumps for it. He's taking too much damage. Has to snap oh, back. God. And now the Tempered Face comes down. Catches both oh, Wild no, Turtle no. and Bile Frost. The double stun comes through. Wild Turtle falls. Bile Frost has to hightail it back. One more hit would have finished him off. But he will make it out with his life. But TSM, he's a bunch of. Put them on the back foot. Right now, though, TSM are going to try to make a stand here. Trying to fight in the top lane. And they're all collapsing mid. Hauntzer's going in. Has a pill. Converts is coming down with the slicing. Maelstrom comes down. He just gets erased. Hauntzer losing in the 1v1. Meanwhile, down in the river. Never fade comes through, finds Bile Frost and Turtle yet again. Sven Scaren going in, gets a kick out on the hill side, but it's not enough to finish him off. Move has to pop the Ragnarok to run out. Looks like he might be able to exit safely. Exile going low, taking those curtain call shots, but it's not enough. And Sven Scaren does not want to go back in for that resonating strike. So they're able to hold them off mid lane, but meanwhile the top lane has still fallen for TSM. Unicorn's low. Oh, Exile is going to get interrupted. Oh, no. Sven Scaren takes it, and he finds the kill. Move there, not able to get the damage in. Sven Scaren has to pop the flash, but he makes it out and finally takes down that Cassidy. As yeah, opposed to control of the fights. Monster. Waiting in the brush to throw out that parallel convergence, but even so, not going to be able to do a whole lot, I don't think, Here comes against Sven this cannon. Yes, Sven Scarin is coming in. Bjergsen in tow, but the TP is coming through now from Exile. Oh, good Can he turn it around? Yeah, good kick to keep him away, but Sven Scarin goes back in, getting taken low. Exile will try to burst him out. Now, Boo is on the move, runs in, has the ghost, gets on the Bjergsen, the gravity well. Not going to be able to lock up anybody as Exile just jumps right out of it with a rift walk, and now haunts her. He is going to go down, snaps back, but there's nothing that he can do. A triple kill coming in for the Cassidy. Oh, nice block there on the True Shot Barrage. Wouldn't have gotten a whole lot done for Unicorns, but still a good block. Biofrost going to just take a quick little hop away and get out of that Mystic Shot. They're actually going to take it there, Toss, nice and he gets annihilated. Bjergsen finally able to blow him up. The Cosmic Fighting not really going to find anybody. On to Exile, so yeah, having that Spectre Scale on the Merc Treads definitely helping him out, but... Stem around the Dark Seal, not going to happen. He snacks. Oh, that's going to be a temper trade straight on a Wild Turtle. Wild Frost trying to bl block as much as he can. Wild Turtle's just going to have to flash over the wall to try to get underneath that tier two. Haunter teleporting in. Didn't have a ward to really put him in a good spot. And that's going to be Bile Frost going down as Veritas finishes him off. The Chaos Storm taking down Vizachachi and Hillisei. They make it out with their lives, though. Looks like Exile will do that as well. And now immediately to the top lane, you can oh, see no. Exile. Oh, the oh double cosmic oh, mining finds Sven Scarin and Bjergsen. He throws out the gravity field. Looks like it will find Hillisei. There it is, the afterburn of the Death Ray. Takes him out. Boom's gonna go down as well as Sven Karen. Yeah, Sven Scarin can't say his name. Gets the kill, and that's gonna be the double kill. There's a Chachi coming in, gets on it. Wild Turtle trying to burn him down. That's gonna be the kill coming in. They take out Exile. There's a Chachi, the last standing member. He's gonna go down. The triple kill from Pipson. And TSM finds an ace over Unicorn from Love. Are you kidding me right now? A miracle team fight from TSM. Bjergsen shows up 
execute cooldown after cooldown. No teleports for you, well, this might be going over to TSM. But check out where Move is, he's all the way in the base, they have to stall. There's also no tempered fate, so Hill, Hill Sang can't do a whole lot at this moment. He's getting ready to come off cooldown, but I think that TSM had it. it. I would have to take a miracle auto attack, but it's not gonna happen. That's gonna be the bear. Might be too close. The TSM Hill Sang gets locked down by the deadly flourish, and just like that, TSM have placed themselves right back into this game. And this is the performance that TSM fans expected from them. Dominant in their team fighting, decisive in their macro play. They're not running it up mid. And immediately they're running it down mid here. Spence Garrett, look Spence at Spence Garrett, he's going deep, but he takes a hell of a lot of damage. He has to back off using the W. But TSM, they have a massive wave, all empowered by Baron. And they're going to break the tier two line right here. Have to be careful, though. They spot the Chachi on the sidelines. Haunts her immediately going to deal with him. XL jumps in, almost kills him. Oh, it's a snapback. Since Garrett goes down, Bile Frost sitting in the slicing maelstrom has to get out of there. Garrett. Facial Fisher comes through. Exile now whittling them down. And Wild Turtle all on his lonesome, a triple kill for Exile, and just like that, TSM, their flame gets snuffed out. We even this come down to the Elder Dragon. Yeah, this right here, Bjergsen, they had to chunk out Exile, you just can't do enough damage to him. Really low on Monos, just Garrett, no idea why he went in there, or why they're even trying to fight Vizachachi. They got the turret, they ended up getting it, and now everybody has to funnel off to the side, because Move goes for a flank, Wild Turtle's left by himself, and just Exile is able to clean up that whole front line. Yeah, just really strange kind of uh, priority. This was a unicorn instead of a dog. Dude. Unicorns love me to win worlds, get a nasty Yes, skin. please. There you oh, go. That'd be Here great. Here's a Chachi, though. He's gonna get caught out, has to use that. Sonia's Glacial Fisher comes in, does pop him up, but TSM is taking a hell of a lot of damage. Wild Frost has to back off one more hit, which is about to be the Exile coming in, throws out the E, gets on the Wild Turtle, and should be able to finish him off. But no, they lock him up! That's gonna be a shutdown coming in for Haunter for the Slicing Maelstrom in there. Because Chachi actually does fall. Already yeah. used Pizzonius. Haunter snapping back a double kill for Turtle. Can they find more? Hillisang, he's not going anywhere. One more hit'll do it. There it is. Triple kill to Wild Turtle. And yet another ace for TSM. And Unicorns can't reach Wild Turtle. He's able to turn it around. He They're afraid of TSM's 5v5. Yeah, and they have both of the teleports isolated up at the top lane. So if a fight breaks out, like it very well could in this bottom lane, they can come right in. Yeah, they have to though, because here comes XL from the backside. Oh, that's scary. Going low, they're gonna find the kill already. Veritas picking that one up. Glacial Fisher comes in, Haunter in the back line. But here comes Vizachachi, the slicing maelstrom, going in deep with the Zonias. They, they lock up Bjergsen. He's already used the flash and the ghost. He's trying to kite back, but move is hot on his heels. The Undertow not gonna connect, and Haunter crucially finishes off the cannon. But more important, Bjergsen is still alive. He needs to heal, he needs to reset. They're gonna lose the in-hit, but they probably won't lose much more. They're gonna try to hang on to bottom. Exile has no mana. He's gonna back right now. Does he TP into this? He does. They are trying to go for even more. They're trying to get this inhibitor. Looks like they might be able to do so. The turn at least goes down. Exile jumping in on the Haunter. Doesn't have his ultimate, doesn't have his flash. A nice block on the true shot by Five Vile Cross. Now, Exile, does he overstep? The grab kill is there, but he's able to rip walk out of it crucially in time. But the second inhibitor. Paying off so far. He has been an absolute boon for this team. Wild Turtle takes up the stance. Yeah, that's going to be the curtain call coming through, but nobody in range for the shot. Oh, they're all four, and that's going to be Bjergsen getting caught by the Tempest. Oh, the the slicing Maelstrom is ripping through TSM. And you all out, looks like they're gonna run all over that Bile Frost. Not able to make it out, Hawthorne uses the ultimate, but to no avail, Wild Turtle is the only one left alive. And even then, it was just for a second, Unicorns of Love, they found the ace, they have the inhibitors down, and they are gonna take the game. They're taking the semifinal, and they're going on to the final later today. UOL with the 2017 roster get an early start and punch their ticket to the finals of Oakland. What a hard-fought game from both sides. Unicorns clinch it out at the end, though.